All right, man. Shout out to Chris again. Chris Dub the Yorkshire man. He's like the old guard, old guard fan of UK rap. But calling him a fan is like, calling him a fan doesn't do it justice. Like he he really studies it. So look, man, the old guard, um, just the old guard of UK rap. I feel like you know. Let's get into it, man. Mike Righteous, Dreamland No More Part Two, Freestyle. Moments of Clarity. God damn, that is a long title, man. Is that not a long title? Jesus Christ, how am I going to fit that in mine? All right, let's get right into it, man. See what Mike's got for us. Boom, 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 got a wrong life. I remember being in my old house getting so high. Doing the free stars on my own mobile phone vibe and putting them online at the showtime. That whole vibe was so real. The whole vines, I don't wanna live a life like this. That was all fact. I don't still. Yeah. I'm back on SBTV. It's Mike Righteous with a debut album, Dreamland. Out 20th of October. This is a freestyle, this is the very first freestyle I've ever done and ever released and today I'm going to do another rendition of it. It's called No More. I can see my life fading away, reality's ripped me in half and it plays in my brain. To the point I can't sleep, so I'm staying up late, blazing at eighth, trying to put all of my pain on the page. Yeah, I'm sick of living this life, every day is the same, looking for ways to escape from this dangerous place. I'll say it straight to your face, we need to wake up and change and make it today because tomorrow God could take you away, it's that real. We're only getting closer to the ending I can't even look in Guna's eyes, I don't know what to tell him I ain't even called him, we was all closer than brethren Like brothers from other mothers, now we hardly have a friendship I couldn't leave the roads alone, we only got arrested The rest of us grew apart, and the phonies got deflected Nothing ever lasts, I know it's hard to accept it Yeah, I miss the past, but I know it's not the ending Check, I see the same thing wherever I go Sick of living in little Britain where the weather is cold But the rent's high, the pay's low, you get a loan to settle debts It's easier to be on benefits and just get on the dough You've been left alone to get that extra dose, so you hit the road and start peddling O's. Little Michael caught on the but road, getting involved. Now he's led upon us. So I've got to say, because some people think freestyle means that it's off the top, like like unrehearsed, not written. A freestyle can be written. Freestyle means the style is free, meaning it's not a song. It's not meant. It's it's not a song that you you manufacture for a purpose or or. To convey is one thing in particular the style is free it's open then again there's also freestyle up to like i'm here seeing this i don't think this is is he rehearsed this like i think he wrote this i don't think this is the traditional top of the dome freestyle no disrespect to it i released something called like uh richard Pryor freestyle i wrote it it's not and so some people are like oh bro that's not a freestyle it's like what are you talking about, man? Do you not understand that, like, this the style is free. There isn't a pointed purpose for the writing. It's like, because what... Anyway, man, let's just keep going with it, man. But Mike Wright is dope. Selling his own, sending VOs. I get the feeling that we're meant to be broke. When it comes to making money, man, I'm mentally slow. Can't pay the tenancy and spend their last tenor on Crow. They locked my brother behind bars and wasn't letting him go. Can't do a fucking YouTube video without him thinking I'm sniffing coke. I'm different, I know. I start itching my Damn. nose. Going to this militant mode whenever I flow. Yo, struck to go. Damn, dude. He said his brother, he can't do a YouTube video or a freestyle. Without his brother thinking he's sniffing coke. Now I gotta ask, how did you get to that point? You know, no, you know, no offense, but because man, I've got a brother, man. I went through some addiction shit, man. I I harmed some people. You know, we're we're cool now. We're all good now, man. But point being, you know, that's tough, man. It's it's hard hard to get over that, man. But the thing is, it's all consequences for your actions, man. When you do something. You know, we, we like to think we could just do stuff and get away with it. It's like, no, man, to a certain extent, you know, the world will hold you accountable to an extent for your actions. But ultimately, man, there's something there's something greater out there that's going to have to judge people. I have to believe that, bro. I'm not saying like God. I, I don't know what it is, man, but I got to believe there's some kind of higher power that's at the end of the day says like, nah, Hitler's going to fucking be tormented forever for what he did. You know what I mean? 
Like, I got to believe there's something that after we die, like, there's some kind of justice that comes to the world, man. I don't know. And I know I start itching my nose, going to this militant mode when never a flow. Yo, drugs have got a hold of me and they ain't letting me go. Got me questioning myself whether I'm ready to blow. It's the devil in my head that keeps telling me no. Not knowing that seed of doubt would eventually grow. If I fed it with my faith, it would embed in my skull. The deeper the roots of the lie, the less you start believing the truth. And it's like defeat is in your eye and you can't keep it from the people you hold close or the friends that you know from the people you hold close or the friends that you know i used to think my destiny was set into stone would you believe the rumors if they never left you alone so negative don't ever think that it's the end of the road hopeless forgetting everything i've ever been told i close my eyes and picture heaven because hell is my home say true to myself never consider selling my soul walk alone treading treacherous roads been round the coast but it's terrible wherever i go derelict homes poverty pushing people to the edge of control kids are sick of their lives and the pressures at home my mother ran away from me when i was seven years old the other day she swallowed my pride and tried belling my phone but i'm sick Trying. We need some kind of family support I don't even feel like we talk, that's what family's for My own dad says he don't know who I am anymore My best friends ain't fam anymore My own fam think no, I don't want to rap anymore My girl left because she thinks I ain't the man anymore If God never had a plan then why'd he challenge me for? Time to face my reality, bring the man in me for No more, I ain't taking no more shit, no more shit If there was no more me then there'd be no more this If I don't have a purpose in what I write no more And tell the truth, I don't want to live a life no more, you check I don't wanna live a life like this I don't wanna live my life like this No more blood I don't wanna live my life like this I don't wanna live my life like this No more blood I don't wanna live my life like this I don't wanna live my life like this No more blood I don't wanna live my life like this I don't wanna live my life like this Hang on, so he said his girl his girl left him, um, his family didn't believe in him anymore, his dad said he didn't recognize him, um, his, his friends aren't even fam anymore. Um, yeah, man, that's tough, man. You know, I don't know if it's because of the music or, or you know, like some, some kind of personal issues that he had um, or what, man, but you got to have some kind of stability in life, man, because your life can implode and... You know, it's it's dangerous to think there's the quote of, um, <clears throat> you know, if every if everybody else is crazy, then you're the one that's insane. And so that's something I have to do it. I got to remind myself, man, because I'm sometimes I get I get worked up. I get in my head. I'm like, man, all these all these I start to go fucking Kanye West on motherfuckers. I'm like, all oh, y'all motherfuckers are crazy. And I'm like, hold on, man. Hold on. If everybody else is completely insane, then maybe I'm the one who thinks differently. Nothing wrong with thinking differently, okay? But you have to keep it in perspective, okay? You explore that through your art, man, but stability is important for longevity. So let's keep going, man. Yeah. I love the roadside, it reminds me of my old life How my mandem was so hype, but we moved on, got our own lives I remember being at my old house, getting so high Filming freestyles on an old mobile phone vibe And putting them online, it was showtime Yeah, that whole vibe was so real Those lines, I don't wanna live a life like this That was 05 and I don't still Damn One, Dreamland, 20th of October So hang on, so no he's more. So he's, it sounds like, you guys correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, it sounds like he's saying, I don't want to live a life like I did in 05, and so now he's he's rapping the lyrics modern day, you know, or not modern day, but at the time that he released this, um, but he's saying in 05, that's something I wrote kind of in 05, that was my life in 05, and I don't want to live a life like this anymore. Man, that's powerful, because, you know, I'm sitting here thinking like, oh, no, he's going through this currently. Um... You know, it, it is important to find that stability. And for me, that was the thing, man, dude, I could go on for ages talking about just some of the, I haven't lived the craziest life, but I've lived through some shit. And so I could talk about that. But the point is, man, you sometimes people got to hit that point where you have to say, this can't be it. I don't want to live a life like this. This, this cannot be in my existence. I have to do something more. And so, you know, I think maybe Mike Wright just found that and that led to his debut album and getting that that organized, man. But either way, man, big shout out to him. Uh, looks like we got a little bit more. Maybe it's the credits. We'll check it out. Yeah, that's it, man. Pre-order now, man. Dreamland. I don't know how much I've heard off of Dreamland, man, but um, big shout out to Mike Wright. Just big shout out to Chris Dub, man, the UK guy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up, man. I won't, I won't dilly-dally here.